Hey Michael, this is Jeremy. Um, I've got a cold right now. Forgive, forgive the scratchy voice. Uh, I wanted to go over the vision for the golf site. Um, I hope this video makes sense. I'm going to use uh, our site as well as our PowerPoint uh, to try to communicate how the flow goes. So from the home page, as you know, the user will go down. They will start the custom fitting process and they'll be brought to the first slide. So they're going to go through a series of slides. Um, remember that every slide has to be um, required, required fields. So they first select their gender, and that gender relates to the matrix of whether the, the male uh, or the female club lengths right here, that's pink and blue. So the first step, they check their gender. I'm going to check male. We'll go to the next. I'm going to select my hand. I'm right-handed. As far as selecting your height and length, and all these, all these questions will create or give um, the custom specs for the club that the, that the customer will buy. So for custom height and length, uh, the height is obviously the, the, the height of the person. <clears throat> so I'm going to put in six feet seven inches that's my height that's how tall i am i know that you guys work off meters um, you're going to have to convert to feet so in terms of club length that's what this um, this slide helps to determine i'm a male so i'm going to work in this area here um, my height is six foot seven and the length from my wrist to the floor we're going to say is 36 inches so where this correlates is for the driver club, for example, and there's the seven clubs, driver, three wood, five wood, these three degree clubs, and the putter. For the driver, with these specs that I put in here, the length is 36, and I'm a guy. So we would be using this row right here for the driver, okay, and the height I know this is a little confusing, but the height is six feet, seven inches. Unfortunately, we have to have it this way. There's 12 inches in a foot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply 12 inches times six. So that's 72 inches and seven. So six feet or 72 inches plus seven. 72 plus 7 equals 79. So I am 79 inches tall. So I'm above the 77 mark here. So for the driver, at the end of the major, at the end when we're done, the system will present to me a driver that is 45 and a quarter inches long. That's how this came uh, from this matrix here. Same thing here. It will present me with a three wood club option that is 43 inches, or 43 and a quarter inches. For my specs, these are all the same for this club, it will present 42 inches. For any of these three wedges, it will present the 36 and a half. If I was a woman, if I had different specs, it would be that same spec for all the clubs. So that is the length of the club, and that's how that's determined. I know this part is sticky here, the conversion of user height. I can't, I'm not sure how to get out of this, except somehow <clears throat> the system does the calculation. So whatever this number is times 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot, plus this number equals the number of inches in user height. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to select my driving distance. How far can I hit the ball? I've got different ranges here. I'm going to say up to 260 yards. What that does is that helps to dictate the, the flexibility of the, of the club, whether it's regular, stiff, or extra stiff. I selected up to 200. I selected the middle value, so it's going to show my clubs as stiff, and I'll show you what that means here in a minute. Actually, 
right here. So for example, when I go through the process, I just explain club length. Um, the driver, based on what I inputted, will show the length in inches right here. The stiffness will be regular. I'm sorry, it will be, it will be stiff because I selected this for all my clubs. So at the end here, these will all show stiff for my, uh, for my options. <clears throat> and they will all show the different lengths for each specific club. The accuracy, I'll, I'll get into this in a minute, what, how, how this needs to work. Um, it does not determine anything regarding the club fitting. It's just for the user. Same thing with handicap. There's no nothing that contributes on this slide to what club is given to the person. But I'm going to go ahead and click my handicap. Selecting desired loft, I can select low, medium, or high. For this page, when I select medium, that dictates the loft of the club, the loft value. So note I selected medium, 9.5. That means all the clubs that I'm shown on this page will show 9.5, 9.5, 9.5 for the loft value, for all of them. And lastly, <clears throat> the putting posture. So let's say I, I, put, I select upright, that's gonna dictate the type of the, the, the putter that I'm given here for the very last club. There's seven clubs total, driver, three wood, five wood, 52 degree, 56 degree, and 60 degree, and then a putter at the bottom. So how the putter is shown is, remember I selected upright. That's my, my posture. So here's upright. And if you remember, my height is is 79 inches so I would be given a 38 inch putter does not matter male or female if I selected bent posture for example and above I had said that my height is 70 inches I would be in this range 70 inches in height bent posture I would be presented for the putter club with a 34 inch club length So after this slide, it would go to a confirm your data slide, and it would basically just reiterate all the values um, that, that were just um, presented. Each would have an edit button next to it, just in case I needed to go back. Let's say I showed that I was a male, but I really made a mistake, I'm really female. I, it would hold all the values, but I would click edit, and it would take me all the way back to that particular slide and allow me to change my, my answer. And then I would continue to go back and it would, hold, it would have held on to everything. I don't have to re-input my values. And then I go back and I click this again. It takes me back to the confirm your data and everything looks good. So I'm gonna click display my clubs. And when I click display my clubs, I'm going to be given one screen and it's going to have my three woods that says your perfect woods on top. It's going to look just like this. It's going to have driver, three wood, and five wood with add to cart buttons underneath each. And there's going to be three values under each, each club, length, stiffness, and loft. And it's going to show for the driver how long the driver is that's presented to me based on me going through the process, it's going to present the length for the three wood, the length for the five wood, the stiffness. The stiffness will be the same value for all six clubs, uh, except the putter, uh, whatever I choose, and the loft will be the same for all six, um, except the putter. So that that value will be the same. The only value that changes is the, is the length. Because as you saw here, each, each club has a different length based on my height and based on the length from wrist to floor. Once somebody clicks add to cart, it should not take them to a checkout page yet. There should be like a cart 
um, button that showed or something something around here that shows that it held on to the cart that there's something in the cart but allow the user to click add uh, other add to cart buttons so let's say that they click three or four um, add to cart buttons they click the cart they go to the traditional checkout process again there's only seven clubs there's only seven SKUs, and all that's going to be sent to admin or shown as checkout is that somebody bought a driver and it has these values tied to it or somebody bought a five wood and it has these values tied to it so we're not going to have a crazy number of SKUs. we're not going to have a crazy number of product configurations it's just going to communicate or forward or pass the information that that's tied to each club based on my fitting uh, just because I have you on video, one last thing um, for these two slides for handicap and accuracy. Um, I need a I need a very clean, very circular target um, that has these colors um, that I can see underneath this. If you can if you can make this a very even, very clean target, this slide needs to have a hover function. Where as I hover and click on the center, it will it will populate very accurate. As I hover and click over the middle, it will populate accurate. As I hover and click over the outside, the black, it will populate semi-accurate. Same thing with handicap. Please make it identical in terms of a clean um, target. If if the middle is clicked. If the middle is clicked, it will auto-populate the first. If the this gray area is clicked, it will auto-populate the second. And if the black is clicked, it will auto-populate the third. If it's possible, this should only show male radio buttons. If male is selected at the very, very top, if this is possible, if female is selected at the top, it should only show the three female radio buttons. Um, even as of today, I had to get very defensive and push back very, very hard to the clients and to Axonom Design for this project. I'm communicating that we're much farther ahead than we really are. I really need your help and your focus. Even if it's extra hours, <clears throat> please help me um, make monumental progress on this so that we can keep everybody happy and keep getting jobs from, from these clients. Thanks a lot.